How many three-letter codes can be made from the following ten letters? Looking at the ten letters, notice how they're all distinct, meaning there's no repetition of letters. If there was, it would change our approach. So because we're looking for three-letter codes, we can solve this using the counting principle by viewing this as three independent events. So for part A, notice that repetition is allowed. So to model the three independent events, we'll use three horizontal bars. Let's call the first event L1 for selecting the first letter, followed by L2 and then L3. If we can determine the number of ways each of these three events can occur, the product of these ways will tell us a total number of three-letter codes. And again, repetition is allowed and there are ten letters, so there are ten ways to select the first letter. So we'd have ten times, again, because repetition is allowed, there'd be ten ways to select the second letter, followed by ten ways to select the third. And therefore this product, or ten to the third, tells us how many different three-letter codes we can make from these ten letters. Well, ten to the third is equal to one thousand, so there are one thousand possible three-letter codes, again, if repetition is allowed. So for part B, what if repetition is not allowed? Well, we'll set this up the same way as three independent events, L1 through L3. Now to select the first letter, there are still ten ways. But now to select the second letter, there's not ten ways because repetition is not allowed. So we cannot reuse the letter that we used here, and therefore now there's only nine ways to select the second letter. And now we've used two letters, so there are only eight ways to select the third letter. And again, this is because repetition is not allowed, we may not reuse a letter. So the number of three-letter codes, if repetition is not allowed, would be equal to ten times nine times eight, which is equal to seven hundred twenty. So if repetition is not allowed, there are only seven hundred twenty possible three-letter codes. So it's always important to make sure we know whether repetition is allowed or not in these types of problems. I hope you found this helpful.